So for those of you who are not aware of who Sam Smith is, uh, like me two months ago, um, Sam Smith is a global pop star, right? He makes, to me, generic music that many people love, sadly. And um, yeah, this guy's this guy's huge, right? Um, and funny story, I, like I said, I didn't know who this guy was two months ago. I, I kept getting these pictures of this overweight gay man um, and on Facebook and on like uh, suggested or whatever and it was always pictures of him walking down like Sunset Boulevard or you know carrying a purse or wearing assless chaps or something and I ended up sharing it and saying who, who the heck is this why do I keep getting this guy and you know someone commented today that's Sam Smith so I'm like okay anyway so uh, yep that's Sam Smith and uh, you know, that's his character. He's a big influence for the LGBTQRSFX46. And, you know, people look up to him and love his music. And um, it's very sad, but again, w what really do you expect? We are in 2023, our generation is, is horrible. And, um, you know, each and every day, more and more satanic things pop up and uh, there's nothing we can do about it. But anyways, those of you that are not aware, the 2023 Grammys, that's hosted by CBS, was uh, this past weekend, and the topic that everyone's going on about is Sam Smith's satanic ritual performance. So to be honest, this is nothing that uh, you're not gonna expect. I mean, we see this, I think, every year with the Grammys or what, whatever these pop friggin' things are, right? There's the one for the, for the actors and singers and whatever we see satanic things and imagery and, and agendas and all this symbolism that is just in love with satan and we didn't see anything different this year so the topic of discussion is this performance right this satanic ritual type deal from sam smith it is quite disturbing uh, and it's very sad that the, you know cbs knew all about this right for months in advance if not probably a year in advance right because that Sam Smith obviously has to be aware of it, his dancers, the producers, all of that, and they were were very well aware of the, the stuff that was gonna go on there, and uh, they were fully accepting of it. In fact, the first thing I wanna show you here is a, a tweet, a comment that uh, CBS posted that's very, very bizarre. So Sam Smith commented, this is going to be very special, talking about the Grammys, and CBS, Commented, you can say that again. We are ready to worship. We are ready to worship. Now that's a bizarre uh, choice of words there, right? I mean, again, them knowing about this, it's not like they didn't know what it was going to be. They knew what that was and they prepared for it and they say they are ready to worship. Now I don't care what you believe. I don't care if you believe in the flying spaghetti monster. You have to understand and accept because you have a brain, right? You, you are well aware of these things here are obviously blasphemous to God. There is absolutely a reason that these guys aren't targeting Allah, these guys aren't targeting Thor or any of the other gods that people have worshipped, right? They're targeting the Christian God, they're targeting Jesus, they're targeting the Holy Spirit. There's absolutely a spiritual war going on here, there's absolutely satanic influence and, and uh, symbolism everywhere, and uh, you know, I, I don't know if it's, if it's just if it's the devil taking control of these people, or if it's these people that have sold their souls, uh, literally or figuratively, and, and that's just who they praise, and, and I, I don't know. Maybe a lot of times they don't even know that they're doing it. Maybe it's just, I don't know, the devil is is a producer himself or something, and you know, I, I don't really know, but, but there's way too much of this going on, attacking Christianity for it to be just a coincidence and just to be a little bit edgy and, and cool, right? There's, there's just no way. We have another insane thing here. Holy. Yeah, you know, you know and what followed so shocking. the number, what followed the number, Laura, was almost as grotesque as the thing itself. Watch this. Mm. Grammy Awards is sponsored by Pfizer. <laughs> You can't make that up. We did not edit that. So, funny, right? I mean, CBS is, or the Grammys, rather, is sponsored by Pfizer. Of course. Of course it is. It certainly wouldn't be a Christian church. I won't get into all of the 
you know, potential Mark of the Beast stuff for the, you know, all of that vaccine deal. That could be for another video, but um, it, it is very ironic that Pfizer uh, is the one sponsoring this satanic thing. Makes you think, doesn't it? Folks, I want you to really take a look at this. I want you to take a look at these these outfits, the whole setup, everything here, and tell me if you think it's all just for pop culture, just for, um, for what, do, what do you call that, uh, shock or whatever. Uh, you know, I doubt it. I think there's definitely a spiritual battle going on here. There's definitely a satanic spirit in this world and um, confusing people and, you know, and think about how many of our kids and how many even adults are, are not aware, or they are aware, and they choose to accept this. They choose to say, oh, this is okay to be on TV. This is just fun. It's just whatever, right? I mean, it's sad. And we know it's not going to change. That's the other scary thing. We know this is only going to get worse, right? Imagine when the Mark of the Beast happens and, and uh, the Antichrist is in full reign, and it's going to be a lot worse. This is just stage one. Another thing I wanted to mention here, this is this is insane, but the music, the uh, the songs that you're listening to by Sam Smith, his number one song that is in millions of people's playlists is literally called Unholy. To me, it sounds like utter trash. It sounds horrible, but to many people, this is what they find appealing, and uh, you know. And, and and they're sitting there probably singing along, saying unholy. They, again, who knows if they really understand fully what they're singing and what they're doing? But I don't think that really matters. They're still doing it, and they they are not having a relationship actively with Jesus Christ. And um, you know, it shows what's going on, right? It, and you know, so for these lukewarm Christians that think, oh, it's it's okay, it's nothing, it's just fun and games or whatever. You know, you guys are completely wrong. And, you know, remember, all of us will have to answer to God and the people that are allowing this and saying that this is okay and, and letting their kids listen to it. You got something coming to you. And one other thing that I think is kind of bizarre is, you know, Beyonce and, and Madonna and, and Jay-Z and these people are there at the Grammys. They look so demonic to me. Like, I, they look almost possessed. Maybe I'm just reaching, but they, these people look... There's something you can see through their their head. You can see through their eyes. There's there's nothing behind there. It's like this. It, they're, they're just a, it's a shell. It it looks bizarre. It looks horrible. And uh, again, I, I'm not going to completely judge them and say they don't have Jesus in their lives in some sort. But based upon their actions and what we are able to observe we can say that these people are probably completely lost and, and probably don't have a relationship with Jesus and don't care to and, and never will. Again, folks, this is not going to get better. This gets worse. And unfortunately, um, you know, people have to step up and speak about this and, uh, again, shine light upon the evil. Shed this light upon the evil. Expose these people. Um, and even though it's not going to get completely better, the more we can show people the evil and say, hey, look at the evidence here. Jesus is real. This is a real attack on, on Christians. This is a real attack on just humanity. And, um, you know, the more people that we can, uh, I guess, actually get real woke, uh, you know, the, the, the better it is for them and, and, and us. So, you know, uh, we got to share this stuff. We got to stick together, stay diligent, stay aware. And before you know it, you know, Jesus will come. This will happen. The tribulation, we'll, we'll go through the tribulation together. The elite will stick together. Uh, Christians will prosper. A lot of us will not. But uh, there will be some of those those Christians that make it to the end. And again, that's that's my mission here is to, to show people Christ and to, um, you know, ideally to some at some point make a living spreading the word. Thank you again, guys. Thank you to everyone that watches and, uh, you know, shows love and support. A thumbs up, commenting below, um, you know, and if you're, if, you're, if you're new here and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. Every one of you guys help tremendously. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all the love and support. And if you guys need anything at all, my email is always in, this, in the description. So if you have prayer requests or if you have 
revelation dreams or if you have questions or any topics that you want to show me that you want me to make a video on by all means please do it i love it and um yeah i'm very thankful for all of that so once again thank you guys stay tuned i will be back soon keep jesus in mind every day let's keep growing together and um one day we'll make it out all right and um we'll all see each other up in heaven see you guys